Sinatra's name appearing on a government wiretap. On that tape, an alleged organized crime figure is overheard asking someone to contact Sinatra and see if he can get work for singer Al Martino in Las Vegas. Today, Glenn Thompson took a look at rumors that have dogged Sinatra for years that he has ties to the mob. It's not the first time Sinatra's name has come up in court and probably won't be the last. The latest evidence, a government audio tape played in court yesterday. In that conversation, Lorenzo Menino, a reputed mob boss, asked alleged mobster Joseph Gambino to talk to Frank Sinatra about getting work for Al Martino. The singer-turned-actor who played a character believed to be based on Sinatra in the movie The Godfather. Lorenzo Menino was telling Joe Gambino, uh, hey Joe, uh, listen, uh, maybe you can get the old man to ask Frank to get Al Martino a job in Las Vegas. He's down on his luck right now. And before the conversation progressed too, uh, too much uh, further, Lorenzo realized that Frank Sinatra really didn't like Al Martino from the days of uh, the Godfather filming. And so he basically said, you know, cancel that uh, request because he's not going to help out. Daily News gangland columnist Jerry Capici has authored several books on the mob. He says Sinatra's connection is well documented, including this now famous photograph of Sinatra with the late godfather Carlo Gambino and Jimmy the Weasel Fratiano, who wrote a book about Sinatra's mob ties. It's been pretty well established that uh, Frank Sinatra has some connection to organized crime figures. He's played at uh, uh, many concerts that they've attended. He had a uh, uh, several important gigs at the Westchester Premier Theater when Carlo Gambino's uh, money was supposedly uh, in jeopardy and uh, he was called in to do a concert that made a lot of money for the mob. Despite Sinatra's own repeated denials of any mob involvement... But I never had anything to do with him business-wise, uh, really, really socially. Uh, no, no connection really whatsoever. Capici says the latest government tape is just one more piece of evidence linking old blue eyes with the seedy life of the mob underworld. I'm Glenn Thompson, Channel 11, News at 10.